What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Swift video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to display rich URL link previews. So here's one that just loaded in. You can see that uh, in this case, we're using the TikTok course uh, preview YouTube URL. And not only can we get a preview with the title, the source, you know, the website here, youtube.com, but we can actually even see a rich preview. So in this case, it's a video. So I'm just going to tap it and you'll see it'll start playing here in a moment. And I'm going to close it so that audio doesn't get annoying. But basically, we're going to look at rich, rich link previews with audio, video, images, and the whole nine yards. So let's get started by destroying the like button as per usual. It helps out quite a bit. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit subscribe for daily Swift uploads. Get extra ready, get excited. Let's talk about some link presentation previews. Quick pause before the video. This video is brought to you by iosacademy.io. Head on over to check out the newly launched TikTok and Swift UI courses. Learn to build world-class professional apps in a fraction of the time, quickly and efficiently. That said, let's get back to the video. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started and open up Xcode and create a brand new project. We're going to stick with the app template under iOS and let's go ahead and give this project a name of link previews. We want to stick with UI kit here and uh, interface is a little irrelevant since we're working in uh, code programmatically. Go ahead and continue, save it wherever you'd like. And first things first, we're going to expand our Xcode window to give ourselves a little more room to work. We're also going to select our simulator of choice and hit the run button to get it compiling. And I'm going to jump into the view controller file here where we will be writing our code. And there's our simulator. So cool. How do we get link presentations to work? Uh, so it's super simple. The first thing we need to do is actually import a framework that Apple provides us called link presentation. Uh, pretty cleverly named here, uh, being sarcastic. So the next thing we want to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and paste in a URL that I went ahead and copied. I'll also put this in the description, but it's just a uh, news link to an Apple news story, just so we have some you know demo URLs here to get content for, for the preview. And now we want to actually go ahead and set up the preview. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function. We're going to say fetch preview. We'll create that function right here. And there are two things we want to talk about that are provided to us in link presentation. The first thing is a link view, which is called a LP link view. And you can actually uh, create this with a URL. And what it'll do is it'll create a very basic preview for the URL, but we're going to want the image and the icon and all that good stuff we saw in the beginning. So let's just create a view like that. And the next thing, which is more important, is called a uh, LP metadata provider. And basically, this is the object that is responsible for fetching the metadata, hence the name metadata provider, from the URL. So on this function, we're going to go ahead and uh, call start fetching metadata for URL and completion. And the first parameter here we need to give it is a URL. Now we have a string up here. We need to convert it to a URL object. So the first thing I'm going to do up here is we're going to say guard let URL equals a URL string is string. And it is going to be optional. So we need to bind it here. And I'm going to rename this up here to be our string. The second parameter here is now a closure. And this closure will give us uh, metadata back. So let's call it metadata and optionally an error as well in case something goes wrong. The first thing we want to go ahead and do is we're going to say guard let data equals metadata since that's also optional. And we're going to validate that the error is uh, in fact nil. We need two equals there. And if either of those cases don't hold up, we'll just go ahead and return here. Um, but if we are successful in getting our metadata, we basically want to pass it to our link view here. I'm going to actually call this link preview. And we want to do that on the main thread because we're updating the UI now. So we're going to say uh, link preview metadata is our data, which is the unwrapped metadata right there. We're also going to want to go ahead and say weak self here. We're going to reference self in a moment. 
Here we're going to say self.view. We want to add a subview for our link preview. And then we also want to give this a nice frame. So we're going to say the frame for our link preview is going to be, uh, let's say, 00, 0, 250 by 250. And let me also go ahead and center this. So we're going to say link preview.center is self.view.center. Uh, and if it's not able to get it, we're going to coalesce it to zero uh, since self is optional. We could say strong self, but I'm going to skip that for now. But let's go ahead and run this and let's see what we get in our simulator. So we should see like a square here of a link preview in just a moment. So there we saw a bunch of stuff in the console and there is our link preview. And I'm going to hit command shift A and you'll see that uh, it's this nice card looking thing. And not only does it have a really cool image, but it also has a title. And this was a news story from today, um, getting ready for Apple's first $100 billion quarter, which is just nuts to begin with. Um, but anyways, right below it, we have the source, uh, the website, which is MarketWatch, and then Apple News, since this is an Apple News link. Now we can actually even tap on it, and you'll see here that it actually opens it up in Safari. It's just a little slow to load here now. Actually, it looks like a deep link into Apple News. Uh, but I digress, these are interactive cards. So let's go ahead and do uh, a couple different URLs for the sake of kind of showing an example here. So we're gonna change this. I'm gonna take this and just put it in a comment up here. I'm gonna go ahead and change this. And we're gonna say, let's see, let's go ahead and do google.com. And let's go ahead and hit command R to give it a build and run. And let's see what we get for google.com. Now you'll notice that it takes a few seconds for this guy to load here. And every time it loads, we don't necessarily have a large image. So you don't necessarily wanna you know, size this to always be, I think we did 250 by 250. You might wanna go with a, uh, smaller, a smaller size. The other super cool thing you can do here is you can provide uh, links to videos as well as audio files so if you've ever sent a kind of Spotify link in your iMessage app, you actually get the inline play button here. So I'm gonna pause the video and go grab a YouTube link and we're gonna try that in here and see what happens. All right, so I just went ahead and grabbed a YouTube video link. So I'm gonna paste in the URL here. We're gonna run it and we're gonna see if that preview actually renders out a uh, inline video that we can play because that would be pretty cool. So. There is a video actually, you can see there's a play button. I grabbed the uh, TikTok course preview here. And if we tap it, the coolest thing about this is you can actually play all this in line. You'll see right there, it starts playing. Uh, you can actually even make it larger, but we're gonna stop. So um, the audio doesn't start getting annoying. But uh, anyways, the point that I wanted to bring home there was this component is extremely versatile where you can play uh, videos and audio in line, see images. And frankly, it's like 10 lines of code. Uh, we can't even count these lines up here, but basically the premise of this is create a link view, LP for link presentation, since it's a part of this framework, fetch metadata from the provider. And uh, once you have the metadata back, just hand that metadata to your link view with a simple assignment and you're good to go. Now, one thing that Apple stresses, which I'll call out here before we wrap up, is you don't want to be getting your metadata every single time. Let's say you had this view in um, perhaps a, a table view. You don't want to keep fetching your metadata over and over. So caching the metadata is super important. Uh, this metadata is uh, uh, NS coding capable, so you can put it into core data. Uh, from the metadata, you can actually, it's, let's say you only want to cache the image perhaps from this data, you can actually get things like um, the icon provider, the image provider, the URL, the video URL, if there is one, you know, title, URL, et cetera, et cetera. All the properties are available to you on here. Um, so definitely take advantage of those. Make sure you're caching for great performance in your app. That's all I've got for you guys today. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps out quite a bit. Comment down below, what do you think of uh, these link previews? In my experience, this is a much uh, lesser known framework that Apple provides, uh, which kind of is surprising because it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty useful and powerful, but definitely try to incorporate these in your apps where and when you can. 
Uh, I know I do. So yeah, that's all I've got. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and have not subscribed yet. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.